Hi everybody, it's Leah and Matt from Fly Trap Store. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. Matt is pumped up about these pitcher plants. Check them out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they look so good this spring. I can't believe the color already. They came up a little later than they did last year. Last year we started getting pictures in January and this year it was more like late February or early March. So they've been up about a month now and uh, my gosh, the colors this year are just ridiculous. I don't know whether it was because of the repot. Basically last year, these all of these were repotted. Adrian uh, Snappy Plants came out and helped me um, work through most of these plants to get them repotted. And then this year, the colors are just phenomenal. So I'm pretty stoked and I wanted to share them with you guys. Yes, it's sharing time. <laughs> <laughs> but we were gonna start first with a few fly traps because I also got some new fly traps last year. And I'm pretty excited to show a couple of these pom-pom uh, traps. Um, these are from Green Jaws. Matze Meyer in uh, Germany sent me these last spring in March. So I've had them about a full year. This one here is GJ Hedgehog. And it has the biggest palm traps I've ever seen. So pretty cool looking plant. I really like it. I'm trying to pan around and get all the yeah vantage like point. Little alien heads. They're so fuzzy. And then this one back here, a little farther back, is GJ Corrali. Okay, let me move to back here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got a crazy, like a punk rock look to him. He's got his look hair at all his mohawk. Crazy, crazy. Love those little pom-pom traps. That's cool. Uh, one up here, this is a Nosferatu, named after the horror movie. <laughs> big, crazy looking plant. It's uh, big. It is big. Jeez. And then moving on to a couple of my favorites from... Uh, carnivoria that I got last year. This is Hanny WTW means with thanks to wife. Davy Spark named that one for his wife. So it's a really gorgeous little all red type of werewolf clone. Yeah, look at those teeth. That is very unique. And then right next to it is the awesome Ramis. That's my favorite elongated trap clone right now. I've grown Jaw Smiley and Jaw and Alien since 2011 or 12 and these guys I just got this year, and I think this one is my favorite so far. Out of all the elongated trap clones, I love Ramis. That is very cool. The hot dog bun. What else do we have here? Oh, the this is one I grew from seed. Um, Adrian helped me pot out some of them last year, and he noticed this one had a um, mirror-type traps on it. And it grows really long and tall, so we were thinking about calling it Lanky Mirror. But Leah says it looks like Loopy Mirror because of the way the... <laughs> <laughs> look at this trap right here in particular. They actually loop around. They do also, some crazy stuff. they look stuff. like they've gone it's, loopy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy looking traps on that one. That is so cool. Um, so I'm working my way through repotting. I usually have them done by now, but I've been working on my private collection of fly traps, and I'm, oh, more like 60 to 70% through. I still got this table to go, but most of all of these are done now. And some of them I did a little earlier. They're looking really nice. This is Carnivoria All Red. Let me come over Giant. there. We want people to see it. Yeah. Carnivoria All Red Giant came out. That's a giant, all right. Yep. Jeez. Looks a lot like Maroon Monster, except it's a little darker and not quite as large. Very cool. But also a very vigorous red growing clone. What Another else? one I did earlier is Incredible Red Hulk. Yeah. I like that one. Don't or make it plant. Hulk out. <laughs> <laughs> or do. What else do we have here that looks... I like this plant too. I haven't really distributed it yet, but it's another one I grew from seed. And I've been calling it Red Jaws. I've sent it to a few people. That is really cool. It's, a nice it's like Crimson Sot too, but it's upright, huh? Yeah, it shoots up straight almost in the spring. Just nice big... It's a pretty big pretty. plant too. These are still some, somewhat juvenile, but it can get pretty large. Hmm. Um... What else do we have here? Most of these just got repotted within the last week or so, so they're not looking fully recovered yet. But yeah, they don't look like themselves, if you Leah will. Leah did Korean Melody Shark sometime this winter. I did that earlier, so it's recovered. Looks good. I love Korean Melody Shark. Okay. We got big mama pots that mama I... Mama pots. The majority of the seed comes from these guys, so we got Alien here in the middle. I love Alien. Not quite as much as Ramis. Ramis oh, is my new like favorite. Oh, you like Ramis more? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, and, boy. 
and then right next to the lunatic fringe this spot just looks ridiculous right now i love the huge traps on these guys it's uh wasn't selected because it was a giant but it is a giant fly trap for sure big 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 traps it really is it's shocking when you when you walk by it you do a double take they're really big traps surprisingly beautiful big. maroon monster these two pots my favorite red fly trap uh, it's the best really lucky with that one early on growing it and then we got royal red here putting out its swoopy spring fly or traps yeah you guys notice that our first traps are kind of swoop backwards like they're going what <laughs> <laughs> that's cool and then whip slim leah did that pot a while back so it's coming up now too yeah look how straight up those spring traps are that is neat little periscope traps and these four pots chronos are oh, starting boy. to put out their first spring big traps I love Kronos, I'm telling you. It's probably it's like the top best five giant for fly sure. trap, I think. It's amazing, truly. And then Low Giant, and uh, Low yeah. Low Giant's awesome. Low Giant's a nice, that's a big, nice big pot of them. Yes. So I guess let's move on to some pictures then. Yeah. Where should we start? Oh my gosh, there's who, <laughs> how do you even pick? This one right here is, uh, I'm currently really enjoying it. This is uh, one I grew from seed that started in 2019, I think late 2019 or early 2020 so it's only about three years old now but it's it's a stunner i Jeez. like the color and the size of it. it's beautiful beautiful plant um, that is pretty and it's big it's tall and has big pictures you so proud of it it is yeah yeah i am it's uh right behind it is the darkest red plant in my collection and a lot of these plants the majority of these plants came from eric morrow saracenia crazy and uh, this one is a lot of red and black cross willisii um, it wasn't quite this large last year but it comes out you know these pictures are fairly new and they come out kind of reddish yellow and then as they age you can see them they turn almost black um, by midsummer this thing will be pretty much black right behind it we got a complex hybrid back here it's a lot of flava in it but um it's a beautiful red clone, and I love the contrast in the mouth. Yeah, look at red that. Red lips, and then if you look down inside of the picture, it just looks crazy with the striations and stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good look at that all day. Uh, right here is Leah Simone. This one is named after Eric's daughter. Really beautiful plant. It is beautiful. So gorgeous. A couple bright flavas over here. This right here is one of my favorite um it's kind of a Rugelii. I think it's labeled, yeah, fail line or folly line. I'm not sure what that name means, but it's a really nice bright green or bright yellow pitcher with that red splotch on the back of the throat. A neon. Neon. The yeah. <laughs> well, over here, they're looking pretty good. They send out their best pitchers in the fall, but there's some really nice bright white pitchers coming out already on some of these Hurricane Creek whites. And, and um, those Hurricane Creek Whites are so elegant looking. They're such beautiful plants. It's mm. my favorite Nico. I love that all white look. I really like this plant here too with the, it's a Morii. looks like Ooh, yeah. almost entirely Luco, but it's got that beautiful red splotch on the back of the throat. Yeah. Such a beautiful plant. What else do we have? So, so many. many. <laughs> so many good I ones. Can't take any. Every time I look, I'm like, oh, I like that one too. Oh, that I like one. that one too. Mm -hmm. this, this tray, for some reason, these guys aren't as colorful as they were last year yet. I think they came up later too, though. That's a really nice Ruder Capora. It's got a really dark body on it once it gets fully colored. The contrast there is really neat. What do those look down, down their traps <laughs> or their pictures? Okay, what else? I've got a big Capria here. I got this Whoa. one from Kaylin. Nice big flava. Yeah. With a copper top on it. Capri is copper topped. Copper top it's, and a swoopy top. Yep. That little, sh little pinnacle at the top of his hat. Those are beautiful. I think we got another Leah Simone here. Beautiful Royal Ruby. It's a nice plant right here. That's Royal Ruby. A lot of these are miscellaneous Pretty. clones that I've acquired in the last few years. Um, just a lot of hybrids. There's a tray of Lucos. This nice big one here is Wilkerson's White Knight cross Luco. What is this again? 
one times two. I think I got this one from Jeremiah. It's a nice big Luco though. I love sure that one. Is. Leo Wilkerson, one of my favorite Mori eyes. <gasps> big, big traps. <clears throat> Last year, this one had a 40 something inch pitcher on it. These are all around three feet this year, so uh, not quite as tall, but really nice nonetheless. Beautiful. Gosh, the splash of red there, it's just so distinct. Adrian Slack over here doesn't have it quite as good a coloration as it did last year, but it's still looking pretty nice with the red lip and, oh, the, yeah. and the white top on it. This is a nice plant here, a Luco times Oreo. Oh, that stands spring out pictures. a lot compared to the others. Yeah, the spring yeah. pictures come up kind of green and then eventually they'll get a nice dark red purplish throat on them. So They're big guys too. Yep. It's another one from Eric, Blood Moon Cross Wakama. Where's really that? Nice right here? This dark red one here. Oh yeah. Wait for me. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> This guy right here came from Eric also, just labeled beautiful flava, and I agree. That is one of my favorite flavas from Eric in his collection that was just comes out kind of yellowish uh, with veining and then it progressively gets more red. It's a really, really nice plant. Beautiful. I like that plant right behind it too with all the veining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a really nice color it's contrast like on the tiger lid. Tiger stripes or something. Tiger stripes. <laughs> Bangle. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Tub full of shorties over here. Ooh, I love the shorties. They're so cool. Let's, Just a let's bunch of purpurea, mostly hybrids. Um, I think the true purps are in the tub next to it, but these are mostly purpurea hybrids. And this one looks like a heterodoxa, meaning all green, no anthocyanin, no red pigment in it. Uh, one behind it. Sign. That's a really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's got red pigment for sure. A couple of citacinas. That's a nice big one. Did not put up traps like that last year. That's a nice plant. Yeah, it's big for the big type. pot of purpureas to the right. Oh wow, that one always stands out to me when I walk by. Really cool coloration and nice shape that it has there. Wow. That's making me lose my words. It's so pretty. What else you got? Another back selection there? from Eric. This one's Carson Elise. Big old jaw mouth drop on it. I love that. Look at the, the mouth you the guys. Trait. Look. And that big red splotch on the back and the lips get kind of red on it. That is hilarious. Right next to it is Saxapaha just putting up its first spring pictures. That one I got from John Brittnocker. It's Thanks, nice John. pink pictures. I got one over here I wanted to show too. Okay. This is an Oreo cross Leo Wilkerson and the pitcher density Whoa. and shape and just the size of the lids, it's just a beautiful plant. You get over here and take a look down the mouth of okay. these guys with the red splotch on the throat and Oh yeah. Just a beautiful plant. Nice big pitchers on it too. It's roughly. This way, my uh, mother pots of the Hurricane Creek Whites are looking really good this year. Pictures in the spring are a little greener. In the fall, they'll get bright, bright white. But right now, they got quite a bit of green veining in them. These are not anthocyanin free, but they don't get any red pigmentation on the pictures. It's just a beautiful plant. This is one of my favorites I grew from seed. It really is so pretty. I actually like all that green. It's nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Flava Rugelii, A times B number one. Probably the best Rugelii clone out there. Um, I got that one from Britt Knocker and also I think Mike Wang sent me one too. Um, a really nice Rugelii. Big pictures, obviously, you can get on these guys. Nice big pictures. Very big. Right next to it is Beth, sibling of Barry. Hmm. I think that was seed grown by John Britt Knocker, and that's where I sourced that one from. And uh, I think this right here is Reptilian Rose. Not much color to it yet, but nice big plant. It's some pretty veining. Yeah. These two tubs are flavas and flava hybrids. Just gorgeous plants. I mean, 
Uh, I yeah. work right behind here and I'm over here staring at these all day just gawking. <laughs> Hard to stay focused. Yeah. There's a single pot of Dana's Delight. We'll show the rest of the tray over there, but that's a one of the most colorful pitcher plants there is, I think. Yep. Here we got the infamous potty mouth with this huge hood and <laughs> straight up mouth. Okay. It's kind of a ridiculous. I don't thing. even know how to express how crazy this looks. <laughs> it's look at the top and the mouth. I hope I can fully capture this because it's the hood is just incredible. huge. Incredible. I mean, Wow. It like covers my hand. It's so big. Ah. My, I don't have small hands either. So it's flopping around. Oh my goodness. That is cool. Potty mouth. A bunch of really <laughs> nice clones here. Legacy. Ellie Wang back here in the back. Mike Wang selection. This is Legacy here. Legacy right here. The white one with the red throat. That's a, a pretty. Yeah. It's a beautiful it plant. Rims the whole. It's uh. I think it's an offspring of Leah Wilkerson, which is right behind me here. Mm -hmm. And then another Leah Wilkerson offspring, also from Eric Moreau. Um, this one's Carrie Elizabeth. I oh, really love gosh. this one. And it, it keeps getting whiter and redder as it is a pitcher's age. It's just a beautiful plant. That's blowing my They're mind. kind of like champ champagne flute shaped pitchers. And oh, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Dark purple there. Gosh, that's neat. This beast okay. back here, yeah. this might be the biggest picture I've seen. It's uh, another Morii. Uh, I think it's it's a sibling. I got this one from Danny Powell. Um, this is Sourus next to it, and I think they're sibling plants. But this one so far for me has outperformed even Sourus. And I mean, you can get four fingers full <laughs> out of that picture. And it's, it's a solid ginormous. three feet tall. It's just a beautiful huge mori eye if you like big mori eyes yeah that's... i'm gonna come over there and get that closer yeah Jeez, you gotta see these it really in you'd have to see them in person maybe to understand Appreciate the size. yeah yeah nevertheless and they color up they turn almost purple uh gosh the pictures do. look how pretty too that is neat yeah these are these the biggest ones that you have I believe I that is the, the biggest, <laughs> yeah, it's so crowded in here. There's yeah. too many plants. We need to get the other big greenhouse running. Yeah, this is probably the biggest picture in the greenhouse right now. Jeez. Okay. Oh, yeah. more maybe. Okay. I believe this more, is Leah Simone here. Another pot of Leah Simone. And this one is Leah Simone cross Leah Wilkerson. Beautiful color on that. I love the lids with the yellow and the... Uh, Oh, yeah. Red veining on them. Quite a bit. Look as the neck goes down. There's a lot of color on them. Yeah, and it's not getting optimal light Picture. there either. It's kind of in the middle of that tub. I really need to spread these guys out. So what, would it change if it got more light? What yeah, it it should, like? it'll get more color on it. Oh, sure. neat. It's a bunch of flavas. Flava town. This is the Rugelia we have listed on our website. It's a really nice little 18 to 24 inch tall bright yellow flava rugelii it's really pretty the these guys on it. Yeah. oh here yeah. nice beautiful little pitcher plant it's awesome and then white veining next to it but can you say it like the guy from the diners drive-in show welcome to flava town <laughs> yeah right <laughs> come on welcome to flava town yes thank you <laughs> okay what else you got Hurricane Creek Whites, Schnell's Ghost, a uh, bunch of miscellaneous Lucos, and that, these are just community pots back here. And then Dana's Delight right here in front. Probably the most colorful pitcher plant I've ever seen in person. The thing is, it colors up. It just turns dark purple and kind of retains some of the white and the veining in the uh, top of the hood. It's just a beautiful plant. Just keeps getting prettier and prettier. So I guess that's all. That's no, a, yeah, that's all. That's all. You know, just a thousand million amazing plants. Yeah, gorgeous. More flowers. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm having a good time this spring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, one more, one more. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I had this one sitting next to me all day. Oh. I love. Oh, let me. Oh, whoa. That one. Look at that. Beautiful. This one is the uh, Rubric. 
or uh, yeah, Rubricophora burgundy. So it's a red bodied throat. I think it's an M yeah, Mike King Flava 26. That's a really nice, one of my favorite Flavas. Oh, Jeez. I missed the big Flavas back here too. More. <laughs> uh, I knew you'd Can't have more. Enough. Another Mike King Flava back here. Oh yeah. Nice With big that tall hood one. like that, which does the swoop as well. Yep. And here's another one I got a long, long time ago from Brittenacher. It's hard to see it with all these other ones growing up around it, but it's another beautiful red body flava. Oh, we got it. Okay, pretty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, we got to stop at some point. So. <laughs> Do we though? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for happy being spring. here. Happy spring. Yeah, happy spring. Finally. <laughs> Sheesh. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye.